Hi everyone, my name is Laia and I'm very excited to be partnering with Neurospa TMS to bring you this 30 minute video where we'll talk about ways that you can introduce yoga and meditation into your life in very small amounts in order to greatly reduce stress and anxiety. I am originally from Barcelona, Spain and I have been a yoga and meditation teacher for about eight years now and currently I do my job around here in the Tampa Bay area. I'm really passionate about bringing people the tools to be able to live a life with a little bit less stress and to feel good in their body and just create habits that really support them in anything that they're doing. So a way that I like to introduce yoga and meditation for people that have never done that is to talk about the fact that Meditation does not mean that you need to completely blank your mind and sit for hours at a time. And yoga doesn't mean that you have to be super flexible and do pretzel-like postures in order to rip the benefits and feel better in your own body. So pretty much yoga and meditation are for anyone. It's just a matter of adapting it to your needs, to your lifestyle, and to the way that you live your life. So. When it comes to meditation, just like I was saying, it's very important to know that meditation can be done pretty much at any time. And even a very small amount of meditation can truly, truly bring you benefits. So for me, it is way more important or way more um, beneficial if you choose to do a tiny bit of meditation every single day than if you choose to sit down for an hour once a month, right? Meditation has benefits that are cumulative. So the more you do it, the more you reap the benefits. And the same goes for yoga. So it's much better for you to get on your mat every single day for about five or 10 minutes, even though that sounds like very little, than going to one yoga class once a week. So what we'll talk about is how to introduce the small meditations into your day. I personally like to meditate first thing in the morning just because in that way I know that I have accomplished that right before I even eat breakfast or do anything else. And I do the same with yoga actually. So if you have never meditated before, I know it can be something that's very daunting because you're like, what do I do? Do I just sit down and stare the void. There are very many apps out there that you can use if you like to try um, guided meditations because sometimes it's a little bit easier to get into that state of calm when someone's guiding you into how to do that. Um, also, you can just grab a timer from your phone or whatever and just set the timer for the amount of time that you want and just sit there until the alarm goes off and simply observe. That is the goal of meditation, is to, instead of following the train of thought that is passing by, simply observing it as if it was a, a television show and you're just sitting there and you're watching it, but you know that what is going through, it's not you, it's simply the mind doing what the mind does, which oftentimes it's not very supportive of who we want to be in our lives. So start by sitting for one minute and do that for one week. Simply commit to sitting down with yourself for one minute and just notice what comes up. And sometimes the minute becomes really long and sometimes you'll take a couple of breaths and be like, oh, okay, we're done. And simply observe what it is that you are feeling. And if you are into journaling, it's a really good idea to grab a journal and just kind of write down a couple of things after you meditate. You don't have to go into your life story <laughs> or make it super, super specific, but simply write down how you felt during the meditation or after the meditation. You can even write down how you felt before and after, you know, and oftentimes I don't go back to my notes, but it's interesting to every once in a while revisit and be like, oh, okay, so this is actually bringing progress and I do feel different when I meditate. When it comes to yoga, it is important to know that not all postures are for everyone and that is totally okay. When sometimes going to a regular yoga class, 
many folks feel like it's just not for them because they can't touch their toes or their leg doesn't do this or that. When in reality, the important thing to do is to simply find a few postures that feel good in your body. And again, maybe you add it before your meditation every day or after meditation. And maybe one day you do a couple postures for a minute and then the next day you feel like doing a whole hour of yoga. But simply start to look at yoga that may fit you and your lifestyle and go with that. And some days your body is gonna be cool to do a lot of poses and some days your body is not going to, going to want to do those poses. And that's okay. <laughs> so I will show you today a few postures and just a short meditation that you can do. And we'll also do a breathing exercise. Breathing exercises are really good to regulate the rhythm of our breath and to bring us back into the present moment because oftentimes the mind just goes out and it's very, very hard to reel it back in. And with this short little exercises, it's a little bit easier to ground yourself again and just find yourself in this moment. So we'll start first with the physical movement portion. As always, move as feels good. Anything that doesn't feel good, skip or modify if that is something that you are able to do. And notice how your mind reacts and start, start to notice if you can choose to stay here and now instead of going wherever your mind wants to go. So let's get started. So start by finding a comfortable seated position. I like to sit on a meditation cushion, but you can sit on any pillow. You can even sit on a chair for this and go ahead and rest your hands on your lap or on your knees and simply flutter your eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth inside out. Inhale through the nose, let your lungs fill up. And let the exhale simply come on its own through the mouth. One more deep inhale. And slow, long exhale. And just take a moment here to arrive. Notice the way that you're sitting. Whatever parts of your body are in contact with the ground, maybe your legs or your feet, your sit bones in contact with your mat, the floor, the chair. And simply begin to notice how your body feels. Notice if there's any tension in the body, any discomfort, but also notice if some parts just feel open and good. Become aware of the quality of your thoughts right now. Not with an aim to change them, but simply be aware of what's there and observe with curiosity and with kindness toward yourself. Begin to notice the rhythm of your natural breath and feel it expand front to back, side to side, top to bottom. And allow the exhale to contract the body just a little bit. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Rub the palms of your hands together with one another, creating friction and a little bit of heat. And once you find that heat, gently place the hands over the eyes. Feel the warmth and the darkness, maybe the gentle vibration of energy on your hands. And gently open the eyes and begin to separate your fingers as the light filters through. Breathe in. And breathe out, release the hands back down to your lap. And just take a moment to do absolutely nothing. Simply let yourself be as you are. 
As you inhale, reach your arms overhead, connect the palms at the top. And exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, take your right hand to your left knee and your left hand behind you, finding a twist here. Lengthen the spine a little more as you breathe in. And deepen the twist just a bit as you breathe out. Ground through the sit bones, reach up through the crown of the head. Deep inhale. And exhale. Keep the arms where they are. Inhale, look back through center. Bring your left arm over toward the right and catch the arm with your left hand. Relax the shoulder. And just notice how the arms feel here. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, gently twist to the right. Left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you. Again, breathe in, find length. And breathe out, twist a little bit deeper. Relax the shoulders, lengthen the crown up toward the sky. Inhale, look back to the center. Send your right arm over toward the left and catch it with your left arm. Relax the shoulder. Keep the spine long here. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Gently release both arms. Make your way into a tabletop. Move any props that you may have been sitting on out of the way. And if your knees are sensitive, just take a moment to maybe place a towel or a blanket under the knees. And bring the hands directly under your shoulders. Press the fingertips down to the ground. Now as you inhale, allow the belly to dip down. Lift the tailbone and the gaze forward or up. And as you exhale, press the floor away, round the spine and look down toward your belly button. Inhale, arc the spine, gaze up. Exhale, round, look to the belly button. One more, follow your own breath. Inhale, arc the spine. And exhale, round. Inhale, come into a flat back. Bring your big toes together and widen your knees a little bit more. And start to move your hips back until you sit on your heels. If this is uncomfortable, you can use a, a block like this one right here. Or you can even use a pillow and bring it between your feet to sit on that. Or if it feels good to sit on your heels, just sit on your heels. Begin to lengthen your body forward. And you can make a pile with your fists to rest your forehead. Or if you'd like, you can extend the arms forward and bring the forehead down to the ground. And just take a moment here. Notice the back body expanding with each inhale. And softening toward the ground with each exhale. Feel free to massage the forehead from temple to temple onto the earth if that feels good. And notice any sensations you find in your hips, your groins, your low back. Simply stay present with what is. One more breath. And as you inhale, come back through center, press yourself back up into the tabletop position. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Now as you inhale, reach your right leg behind you. Flex through your foot. Reach back through the heel as if you were pressing it into an imaginary wall. And as you exhale, bring your right knee to your nose and step your right foot forward between your hands. If it doesn't get there on its own, grab it with your right hand and take it there. And again, if your left knee feels sensitive, place something underneath to support it. Lengthen your left leg back, roll the shoulders back. Again, if you have blocks or thick books, you can bring them under your hands and find a little bit more length through your spine here. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And simply feel the sensations through the legs. Reach the crown of the head up. And breathe fully. One more breath, inhale, 
And as you exhale, begin to shift your hips back. Lengthen through the right leg any amount. Feel free to keep the hands on your supports or bring the hands to the ground. And if you want to create more intensity in the posture, really flex through the right foot. Breathe fully. Notice what your mind is doing. And simply choose what you want to do with that. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, gently switch the weight back to the front. Move your supports out of the way, hands down. And move your right leg to meet the left. Move your hips a bit side to side here. Continue to press down through the fingertips so you can support your wrists a bit more. And as you inhale, slowly come back to the center. Reach your left leg behind you this time. Flex through the foot. Reach back. Deep breath in. Exhale, left knee to nose. And step your left foot between your hands. Again, if you want to give it a little tug, feel free to do that. Stack the left knee directly over your left ankle and reach back through your right leg. Keep the hands on the floor or bring them to your supports and lengthen through the spine. And take a moment here to notice the difference between the sides. Relax the shoulders. One more breath. And as you exhale, shift the weight back. Lengthen through the left leg any amount. Flex the foot if you want to find more sensation. And notice if your left hip is pulling out of the socket, plug it back in. Relax the shoulders away from the ears and keep your neck in line with your spine. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. Plant your left foot back to the floor. Move your supports out of the way and take your left leg next to the right. Move your hips a little side to side. One more breath. And gently bring the big toes together and the knees apart and sit back into your child's pose. Forehead down to the ground or to the little pile with your hands. Take a moment here to notice how you feel. Maybe there's a little bit of warmth that is being built in your body. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Draw the arms in toward you. Rise all the way up. And make your way into a seated position. Lengthen your left leg forward. And bring your right foot to the inside of your left leg. Flex through the left foot and bring the hands next to your body. Roll the shoulders back. Inhale, reach both arms up toward the sky. And as you exhale, simply send the arms and the chest forward. Reach, reach, reach. Once you can't reach any longer, let the hands come down to the ground. Keep the shoulders away from the ears and the spine long belly button toward the left leg. Notice I'm not reaching my forehead down toward the knee. Instead, I'm finding more and more length through my spine. Breathe fully. If your hands reach your foot, feel free to grab the foot, but nothing super special happens when you grab your foot. One more breath here. And as you inhale, gently come up. Now bring your right foot flat to the floor. Take your left arm up to the sky, breathe in. And breathe out, bring your left arm around the right knee. Bring the right hand behind you and find a twist. Broaden through the collarbones and continue to stay active through the left leg. One more breath. Inhale, come back through center, lengthen your right leg, send your left foot to the inside of the right leg, flex to the right foot, inhale, reach your arms overhead, and exhale, gently hinge at your hips, reach the arms forward, and allow them to come down wherever they come down. 
And you might notice that this side is more open or tighter than the other. Notice if your mind is trying to criticize that and simply come back to the present moment. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Inhale, come back up, plant the left foot down to the floor, reach your right arm, inhale, exhale, hug your left knee, left hand behind you and twist, keep the spine long and create the twist from the tailbone through the crown of the head. One more breath. And inhale, come back through center. Lengthen the left leg next to the right. Readjust your seat. Sometimes I like to kind of move my flesh out of the way to find a more comfortable seat. Inhale, reach both arms up this time. And exhale again, hinge at the hips, let the arms go forward. Keep the spine as long and flat as possible and allow the hands to come down next to the legs or maybe you find the feet. Keep the shoulders relaxed the neck in line with the spine. Breathe fully. Last breath. And as you inhale gently, come up. Now, if there's a wall near you, please go ahead and get close to it and bring one hip right to the wall. Now from there, gently shift the weight to your back and lengthen the legs up toward the wall. Take a moment to really readjust here so your glutes are touching the wall. And allow the arms to either come wide to the sides or maybe you want to rest your hands on your belly. And just give yourself permission to completely and fully relax. There's nothing else you need to be doing, nowhere else you need to be going right now. Simply let yourself breathe here. This is a great posture if you're having a hard time falling asleep at night. You can do this on your bed. And simply become aware of the change of the blood flow here. Sometimes all we need is a small change of perspective. If your eyes aren't closed, close them now. And feel free to stay in this posture for as long as you'd like, ideally between three and five minutes. But for the sake of this video, go ahead and take two more breaths. Feel free to pause the video and stay longer if you'd like. Or gently bring the knees in toward your chest. Give yourself a hug here. Let the knees get a little bit wider toward the armpits if that feels good. And maybe gently rock yourself a little bit side to side if it feels good on your spine. And when you're ready, simply roll onto one side and rise up again. Lovely. Sit back into your pillow or cushion. And we'll go ahead and do our pranayama or breathing exercise now. So this pranayama is called alternate nostril breathing and it's super, super good to balance out our energy. So if you're feeling really hyper or really down, it's a good way to just balance out the brain and get back into a more grounded and present state. So to do this exercise, you all you need to do is bring your peace finger, so your index and your middle finger, right into your, uh, between your eyebrows. And then from there, what we'll use is our thumb and our ring finger to close our nostrils. And I'll guide you through it a couple of times slow, and then we'll do a few rounds at the regular pace. So go ahead and close your right nostril with your thumb, 
And it doesn't have to press really hard, it's just a simple, you know, just reducing the flow of breath. And now inhale through your left nostril. Close your left nostril with your ring finger. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right nostril. Close the right. Exhale through the left. That's one round. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. If you don't have your eyes closed, close them now and we'll do three more cycles. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Release your right hand down, inhale through both nostrils. Exhale through both nostrils. And let yourself go back through your natural rhythm of breath. And give yourself a moment to just notice here. Become aware of your physical body and whatever sensations you feel. Become aware of the gentle vibration of your energy moving through you. Notice any feelings and emotions that are present. And once again, notice the quality of your thoughts. Are they rapid or slow? Is there a recurring theme? Or maybe, just maybe, everything has quieted down just a bit. And you are able to gently linger between each thought just a little longer. And whatever it is that you find, simply observe with curiosity. Take your attention back to your breath. Take a deep, deep breath in through your nose. Let it expand fully within. Hold for a moment at the top. Open your mouth inside out. Gently turn the corners of your mouth up into a soft smile. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. Gently bow your head and take this moment to thank yourself for practicing today, for giving this a try no matter what happened through it. You did it. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Blink your eyes open again and you did it. Thank you so much for having joined me and Neurospa TMS today in this yoga, meditation, and breathing practice. I really hope it serves you. If you have any questions, please make sure to get in touch with me. I am always happy to give you some more tips and help you really feel better and find a way to introduce yoga, meditation, and breathing exercises into your life. It's been an honor to be here with you today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Namaste.